so easily influenced. <laughs> I guess you could call me an influencer. I'm someone on the internet, YouTube, I don't know. Call me whatever you want. But I'm also such a consumer and chronically online a lot of the time. And I, like, I see something cute online, I'm gonna buy it. Like, I see the girls wearing these headbands for Get Ready With Me, and like, I need one. This was actually a gift, though. My friends just know me too well that they know that I would like this. Today, we're gonna do a good old-fashioned everyday makeup routine because I haven't filmed one of these in a while. I, sh I film Get Ready With Me's a lot, but I don't really tell you guys, like, what I'm doing and explain every step and really get to the nitty-gritty of my perfect routine. I feel like this headband's making my ears pop out. Okay, <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get into it. Should I keep this on or do I look absolutely ridiculous? I can't really tell. Do I look absolutely ridiculous with this on or is it cute? We have a problem here because I go back and forth between these two products. It just depends on what mood I'm in. The Summer Friday Skin Tint is a perfect everyday. It gives you some color, not a lot of coverage. It's gorgeous. It's glowy. Amazing. This right here is my perfect foundation. Giorgio Armani Luna Soak. It does not look cakey at all. It's literally like your skin but better. It's the most... Perfect, perfect, perfect. A little bit goes a long way. If I had to choose between these two to like wear forever, it's gonna have to be this one. Like I just can't go without it. That solved my problem, okay. I just moisturize my skin like usual. And then we're gonna do like four drops. I really don't talk about this brush as much as I should because this is the most perfect brush ever to apply any face product. Oh my gosh, I cannot go without this. It is so easy to use. I feel like it just makes your base layer look very airbrushed. I feel like I just always thought like, you know, a brush is a brush. I can make anything work. No, a good brush will make your life so much easier because you do less work. Literally just blend it in a little bit and you will have a great base layer. Monet didn't lie when she uses this. She's like a big influencer. You know, sometimes you're like, Mm, these big influencers like are they really like do they really like those products? She's not lying about this. This shit was good. I think I got this because of her honestly. I was influenced obviously. You have under eye bags? Come to me. Like this is a safe space here for under eye dark bags because I've had them ever since I was little. People used to come up to my mom and ask me if I was crying and she was like no she's just she's actually a very happy baby. I just look like I haven't slept in 10 days. I feel like the lighting makes it look better. But sometimes I wake up in the morning and I look like I have two black eyes. I look like I was up all night crying. I look like I got beat up. It's just, I've accepted it at this point. How do I deal with this? This right here. This is Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in medium. I just take this on my finger under my eyes. You could honestly, I feel like I should do this before my foundation, but I always, always forget. So I just do it now. This helps with all the discoloration. Sometimes I also put it on top of my eye. It is something I literally cannot and will not go without when I do my makeup. The key here and the key with everything is a little bit goes a long way. If we're breaking out, if we have under eye bags, if we're having texture, if we're dealing with skin things or face things or whatever, we think that the more that we add on is going to hide more, hide more pimples, hide more under eye bags. If you use a little bit in the right ways, you're set. Like even if my under eye bags still peek through a little bit, like. It's fine, they're there, they're a part of me. But I do love a contour. I love to just like bring some life back into my face. And this is where you can have a lot of fun with it because you have kind of like a blank little canvas to work with. This is the Nude Sticks Soft Matte Stick for natural and easy contouring. I have this in Nude Neutral Medium. I was using the Merit for a while, but for some reason it wasn't sitting right on my skin. My contour was starting to look a little bit patchy, so I just was looking through old ones that I used to use and loved, and I found this one, started using it again, and oh my goodness, it's so, so good. So I just use the other end of this brush, and I lightly start to blend this out in like patting motions, little swiping motions, and as you can see, I don't really have to do much for it to really start to carve out my cheeks. I'm gonna do my forehead just to do an all over bronze. <gasps> this stuff is so freaking good. Wow. Go over a little bit. If you put too much, you can use this side and blend it out. Mm. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Looks even good when I use my left hand for it. Look at that. I feel like I don't even have to like talk like it's literally proving itself to you guys right now how good it looks 
I love makeup. <laughs> Next is arguably one of my favorite steps, which is blush. And this is hard for me because I, I love to layer. So stay with me. I will usually use two blushes because one is just never enough. And they also fade really quickly. So I love, love, love this one for a base. It's a little YSL lip and cheek tint. It's like a balm texture. Makeup by Mario F1. It's amazing. I'll blend this out on the back of my hand, pick up some product, and then I'll start to apply. I like to also blend it a little bit on my under eyes, not like fully, just to make sure we get the full area. I just got these blushes, as you guys know. The Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tints. This one is in Splash. This is a new addition, but I've been loving it. Just a little bit on the top of my cheeks. This looks kind of like a lot. Maybe to some people, I love it though. Now we go in with concealer. This might be super wrong, and some people might hate this, but I do my concealer afterwards. Put it on. And I'll leave it there for a second while I do my brows. My concealer is the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. This has become my all-time favorite concealer. The one part of makeup that I wasn't ever loving was my concealer. Until I tried this one, it's so moisturizing and so easy to use. Since it is like a serum concealer, I don't know how to explain the consistency, but it like spreads a lot. So I like to put it on just for a little bit, let it sit. And then for me, it's easier to blend out and not get kind of like all over the place. And it helps with the coverage too for me. I don't know what I'm talking about a lot of the time. I'm just speaking from experience. So that is what helps me. I don't know. This Patrick Ta Brow Lemonation Gel. Lemonation. I'm also an Anastasio girl. Like, I hear you with the brow freeze. Like, I get you. I believe it even if I haven't fully tried it out for myself. I just love this. My brows stay in place. I think it's easy to use. I love Patrick Ta, so I... I stick with them. I'm gonna get my powder ready. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder in Banana Bread. Also just one of my all time favorites. And then this brush. There's nothing on, uh, there, there's no writing on this. It might be, I think it's a Sephora collection brush. But I get a little bit on this and then I go eye by eye because my under eyes crease. So I blend it out with my finger and I'll set. I have to set as soon as I put concealer on, so that's why I'll do my blush and then concealer so then I could set everything after that. There you go. I guess I do have an explanation for the, my order of things. This part's always different too, also depending on what mood I'm in, but usually I will go in with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is a Morphe M533 brush. And I'll just sweep that on my lids. I'll take my favorite palette. This is Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. All time, all time favorite. Only eyeshadow palette that I own right now. It's really the only one that I need right now. I use matte seven for my brows and then I just use the brow gel on top. So then I take a mixture of matte seven and matte 11. And I'll do the thinnest line on top of my lid. Nothing precise. I like to have it a little bit like I guess smoked out, but I feel like this makes my lashes look a bit thicker and just like draws more attention to my eyes. Now mascara. I do not take the subject of mascara lightly, okay? I've tried so many and not a lot of them work for my lashes. I have itty bitty short baby lashes. I have done eyelash extensions a lot. Um, my lashes just, they are my strong suit. I could use like babe lash or grande lash and try to get them to grow out. I am... Um, inconsistent. If I'm consistent in all the other areas of my life, the one thing I'm not going to be consistent in is adding lash serum every day. Like, I, you know, I can only do so much. I can only put so much on my plate. Lash serum isn't one of those things. So I rock my natural lash. I let her grow as she pleases. If you're wondering what light I've been using this whole time, it's my phone light I'm just attaching to my camera and she keeps falling. I'll do one layer start at the base and just like wiggle up i mean i don't need to teach y'all how to put on mascara but i'll walk you through it that much on just one little light layer this is the one this is the one and only tartlet tubing mascara i don't know what it is about this this mascara that makes my lashes look amazing immediately go back to the other eye while it's like still tacky but like kind of a little bit dry and add another layer I don't do my bottom lashes, but I just like blink. It adds it to the bottom and that's what I do. 
Second layer. Amazing, amazing. We are doing amazing. There are our eyes. Thought I lost you there for a second. Okay. I'm adding more blush. I know, I'm crazy. I know, I know. But I want to add a little bit to my lips too. And just like, mm. I don't know. I'm psychotic. Like, are you new? My lip combo is um actually insane though. Again, another thing that I just cannot use one product. Like, physically not possible for me. Do not judge me. I do not have a pencil sharpener. I am really not doing much here with my lip liner, you know? This is Charlotte Silvery in Foxy Brown. Oh, the hottest brown lip liner that I have tried. Oh my God. It makes me feel like a bad bitch and I love that. Merit Lip Oil in Mapleton. I add a little bit of that. Then, this lip product, I apologize in advance for even mentioning this in your life because you need it. Sorry. Like I said, I mean, you could call me an influencer. Call me whatever the heck you want. I said this already. I'm just saying this as a friend. You need this lip product and it's expensive and I'm sorry. Dr. Dennis Gross lip treatment. I made Natty buy this. I just had her use it and she fell in love and um, immediately went to the store and bought it for herself. It looks insane. I know it's big to carry around, but it is so, so, so good. It makes your lips like tingly. Gives it a little like little plumping effect. It's plump and repair lip treatment. It also makes your lips the perfect pinky red because I think of like the tingling effect. It brings out like that natural like like pinky pout. Makes you look like you just got fresh lip injections and I'm not even kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm gonna be honest, okay? I put this on and I kissed a boy. And he had the juiciest lips afterwards, like pink and plump, and they looked amazing. All because of me, all because of this. He didn't look in a mirror. I was the only one that saw. I mean, they're bystanders, but you know what I mean? Once I saw like him have some of this on his lips, I was like, yeah, this is the shit. It, it's the shit. Even just from him getting a little bit on his lips, you know? We add a little bit of that. Are we done? No. I also love a little bit of shimmer. So we have this Tower 28 lip jelly, which are also amazing, amazing lip glosses. This gives such a perfect, just like shine and the plump and everything. Adding in the color. Do I really need the Merit lip oil? Probably not. I don't know, I'm just crazy. This adds some glitter. I love when my lips are glossy. I love it. If I could have them permanently glossy all the time, I would pink and plump and glossy and amazing. Guys, that is basically my makeup routine. If you see me with makeup on, it's pretty much that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.